Oh boy. It's finally happening, ladies and gentlemen. The ultimate fan service collab is upon us. Azure Lane x Xenon Kagura New Link. Collab was announced on Twitter on September 9th from Azure Lane's official Twitter page. Tweets saying Azure Lane x Shinobi Master Xenon Kagura New Link. More information about the collaboration will be coming soon. Stay tuned. On the image is silhouette of Senon Kagura's main protagonist, Asuka from Hanzo National Academy, rigged with ship equipment. And as you can see at the bottom, hashtag Azulane, hashtag Yostar, hashtag Senon Kagura, meaning it's official. This is big. Really big. This is the ultimate Booba x Booba collab everyone wanted, since both franchises are notorious for their edgy fan service, so I'm sure fans of both IPs are being excited right now, including myself. So what can I expect from this collab? What characters do I want to see? There's gonna be six girls at least, that's for sure. Three in Vanguard and three in Main Fleet. I'm expecting four main leaders from four schools. Asuka from Hanzo, who's already confirmed. Yumi from Gessen. Homura from Homura's Crimson Squad. And Miyabi from Hebijo. I would also like to see Renka as representative of Mikagura sisters and Toki, who was introduced in New Link, and she's now the most popular Senon Kagura girl right now. But if Renka won't make it, devs will implement other girls from New Link. Maybe Fubuki as boss in the event, if six girls. Or Senko and Gekko, if there's gonna be seven girls, and they'll not include Fubuki. Or maybe some other girls from New Link. But my best option would be to have seven girls Asuka, Yumi, Homura, Miyabi, Renka, Toki, and Fubuki. But whatever the outcome might be, I'll be happy either way. I mean, the more the merrier. We can all expect their respective voice actresses prizing their roles, so Hirada Hitomi will voice Asuka here. And what about the gameplay and skills? Well, Azure Lane tries to be faithful to the call up characters they're having. When Ryza collab happened, Ryza characters got to earn AP points during the battle, which allowed them to use their special attacks. So in a similar manner, Senon Kagura girls can fill ninja scroll meter, which would allow them to use their ninja arts. Now in Senon Kagura, each girl has three ninja arts, so with certain requirements, they can unleash one of three attacks. Light, medium, and ultimate ninja art for decimating enemies. And in Azure Lane, they can use that to decimate enemy fleets and bosses. And also, Senon Kagura uh, girls can use their melee weapons up close and personal, in case enemy gets too close. The game already has melee weapons mechanic from not too long ago. And with those abilities, they can be pretty OP against mobs and in PvP. But they would be fun to use. But that's my speculation how Azure Lane can handle Senon Kagura girls in-game. I'm sure they'll be good to use. As for the events, the story is gonna be a typical meetup story, how Senon Kagura girls came across Azure Lane. Probably in Senon Kagura world, where they fight Yoma. Now that would be pretty crazy to see Yoma turn into enemy ships. Or they'll both fight Sirens. We'll see. And standard event missions will be grind missions. Most likely six regular stages and six harder versions of those said stages, with one extra boss stage. Shop will allow you to buy one Senon Kagura girl outside of Gacha Pool, and some goodies as usual. And I would like to see devs add mini games from New Link: ice breaking, milk bottles chopping, straw dummy slash, breaking concrete blocks, and volleyballs pairing. They're gonna be a nice distraction for extra rewards. And lastly, I don't expect lack of fan service, as we've seen with Dead or Alive collab. I mean, just look at Tamaki's intimacy. Mmm, tasty. Earlier, Azulane didn't nerf Ryza characters despite Ryza 3 being censored with less revealing outfits. And Dead or Alive characters all pretty much had provocative alternative costumes and nice intimacy. So I'm sure Senon Kagura girls won't be censored. I mean, this is the crossover for fan service. So if Azulane is going to censor them, they know they're screwed. I expect some innuendos here and there and very sweet alternate costumes, like some swimsuits or bathrobes and such. 
So I don't think they'll hold back on fan service here. We can all be safe. Don't worry. Now both games had some awesome collabs already. Ezralane had Neptunia collab, Hololive, Kizuna Ai, Dead or Alive, Ryza collabs, New Link had Darkstalkers, Dead or Alive as well, High School DxD, Talad Ru, SNK, and more. So it was only a matter of time and these two would collab together. And it has to be great. I mean, this collab will benefit both IPs, especially San Ancagra, since there was no main title game released since Peach Beach Splash, and when San Ancagra 7 was cancelled. So this can bring opportunity to revive San Ancagra, hopefully. But we'll see in the future. Will this be a good motivation for Marvelous to revive San Ancagra? And for Azul Lane to become even more popular? Well, I hope for the best outcome for both. So those are my thoughts on collab. So when the collab starts, get ready your wisdom cubes and good luck getting all the Senon Kagura girls everybody. So this is pretty much it for me for today. I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe and take care everyone. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye bye.